Yeah, we, we were having that conversation about flu season. And the, I mean, you can technically say that you have a flu season, but the reality is the, the flu virus originates in Western China, in the same region of Western China every year, uh, always every year, always comes from the same place. In fact, it's so predictable that the World Health Organization actually has uh, observation stations in Western China so that they can detect the beginning of the virus and begin to work on vaccines because they need about six months to work on vaccines for those people in the world who are using those. Uh, so uh, it's, it's very predictable. And what happens is it simply takes a certain number of months for the virus to go from its point of origination in Western China to each geographic area on the planet. It moves east, so it would hit uh, Australia at a particular time of the year, so I suppose you could say a season. It would hit New Zealand at a particular time of the year. It hits the Western United States at a particular time of the year and so on. So this is why a lot of countries don't say flu season because it isn't actually a season. Uh, but but that's the way it works, just, just so you know. So with this in mind, uh, what we're going to talk about today is, um, for some reason my slides are stuck. Oops, there they go. <laughs> they went a little bit too fast. All right, what we're going to talk about today are two of Manatex products. One of these products uh, is Manapol, which you've heard me talk about before as I talk about other parts of Manatech and other Manatech products. As an example, Manapol is the most important ingredient found in Ambrotose, uh, by far the most important ingredient. So then as I've spoken to you about Ambrotose in the past, obviously I've talked a little bit about Manapol each time because that's important. Uh, but today we're going to talk specifically about Manapol and uh, towards the end of of today's call, I'm also going to talk to you about Mana Boom. And Mana Boom is Mana Pole with a couple of other interesting things added to it. So uh, we'll, we'll get to that towards the end of the call. So I want to begin to be uh, accurate for you because uh, many people have a point of confusion when we say the word glyconutrient. Glyconutrient is a commercial term. A term, by the way, which was invented by Manatech back in 1996. And scientifically, all of your plant saccharides that I would be talking about in terms of supporting human health, these plant saccharides would be called glycans scientifically. So if you're talking to a scientist, uh, you would say glycan. And commercially, of course, they're called glyconutrients. And this is why, as you've heard me say many times before, uh, on my slides, I always put both words to make sure everyone knows what I'm talking about, just for clarity and accuracy. As a scientist, I'm kind of a stickler about that sort of thing. All right, quick review. I've said a little bit of this before on certain calls, but it's important to reiterate this. And hopefully, we have new people uh, watching this information that did not see previous calls that I've done. So there's a little bit of redundancy here, but then we'll get into sort of the meat of it. So I want everyone to understand the science of glycan, and, and this is a science that's been going on literally since 1857, and very often you'll talk to somebody uh, in the medical community who will tell you they never heard of this before. You might talk to scientists. Keep in mind, when we say science, that's huge. The number of different disciplines within the scientific community. Uh, so not every scientist knows everything about every aspect of science, okay? But you may talk to a scientist and, and say glyconutrient. They have no idea what you're saying. You say glycan, and they say, oh, yeah, I, I know. I think I know what glycan. Science has been around for a long time. But as of 2010, uh, and I use this as an official figure from a major scientific library, and it's not the only scientific library. I think, I think Americans think it's the only one, but it's not. Trust me on this. There are many 
internet science libraries on planet Earth. This is just one. PubMed has something like 15 million studies on it. Uh, and so there are so many scientific studies now. But they're in excess of 22,884 uh, studies on glycoproteins as of 2010. But now this is exciting. About a month ago, I checked PubMed and I simply used the keyword search glycan. And I, I got more than 550,000 hits, more than half a million hits just on PubMed. But keep in mind the different sites some of them have crossovers of the studies, but many of them have studies that are unique to those sites. The point here is the science around glycans is growing so fast that no one, and I mean no one, can keep up with it. Even those scientists who study nothing but this day and night, they cannot keep up with it. It's moving too fast. Why is it moving so fast? Because recent changes and recent findings scientifically that go back around the 2010 mark were looking so amazing, so astounding to scientists that it began to generate a lot of government grants for new study. And this has just ignited the whole field. In fact, in 2011, in Japan, some scientists in Japan actually began the Human Glycome Project. Now, all of you, I'm sure, have heard of the Human Genome Project. And, of course, the Genome Project is to study all of the genes, to find out what all the genes are in the human body. But more complex, far, far more complex than that, is the Human Glycome Study. And what these scientists, this started in Japan, as I say, and what these scientists were determined to investigate was what do glycans do? The glycans are on all the cell surfaces of all of our cells who are on our body. We know that they're important for cellular communication. We are learning very much more about what they do. But even if it was just cellular communication and nothing else, it would already be the single most important finding that there is. Because if your cells cannot communicate accurately to each other, then they can't function as they were designed to function. It's really that simple. So in the Human Glycome Project, they are literally analyzing different glycans on different receptor sites, on different cells throughout the human body, trying to determine all of the various functions that they have. For me, this is very exciting, but it's so complex that I think that it, they could be at this for another 10 years or so before they get all the answers that they uh, hope to find. Well, <clears throat> we know, we know from study going back as far as 1996, that there are eight different glycans that are needed for cellular communication and that these eight glycans, these eight glyconutrients, they have to combine with a particular protein amino acid. When they do, they then become something called a glycoprotein. Now, the glycoprotein then is what facilitates the communication, both sending communication and receiving communication from one cell to another. Then another study that was done by the National Academy of Sciences in the United States, which, by the way, is the premier scientific body in all of the United States. Uh, this was done in 2012, or I should say completed in 2012. And they found, oh boy, did they find some amazing stuff. But to summarize their whole study, uh, I can simply say that glycans are involved in virtually every biological process. Now imagine this, my friends. Imagine that a company comes along and they find out just what glycan would be the single most important of all of those glycans and that this is involved in all of the biological processes of the entire body. Understand the potential here. Also understand that if for any reason you didn't get a sufficient level 
of these glycans. Could your biological processes function as they were designed to function? Well, the answer is simple. No, they couldn't. In other words, the most important factor for your health, not some of your health, all of your health, is glycans. Very specific glycans, or glyconutrients, as we say commercially. Well, we're not going to show you a really great film of how the cells work and all that stuff, but just to, to take a look at this uh, slide right now, and this is a, an artist's conception of how uh, cell surface receptor sites, those are those sort of little squiggly things that are coming up out of the surface of that cell, and you'll see that on the end of those squiggly little things are a series of little branches that look like they have a lot of little beads on them. Well, those little beads are glycoproteins. They are specific glycans bounded to their corresponding protein amino acid. And what they're doing is facilitating communication for all of those things that you see on the slide. So this is crucial. It doesn't matter what aspect of your health is your primary concern the foundation of whatever you do, it doesn't matter what it is, the foundation of what you do needs to be with these glycans and the single most important of all of the glycans is one particular one that Manatech has trademarked as Manipole. Manipole is a Manatech exclusive. I call it the king of glycans because it's the most important, it's the most powerful, it's the most effective, it is certainly the most unique. Now, we use this particular, our manipole comes from aloe, but then a lot of people will say, oh yeah, everybody's got an aloe product, you know, big deal, everybody knows what aloe is. Well, I'm going to show you the difference. I want you to pay very close attention during this presentation. I'm going to show you the enormous difference between mannose from aloe and manipole. Yes, manipole is a mannose from aloe, but it is not like any other product in the world because of the science, the science that actually starts with our agricultural science and then progresses to our laboratory science. So this is important stuff to learn about today. I think, personally, I want every human being on planet Earth to have manipole in their body. Everybody. No exceptions. I think it's that important. And I have looked, as Sharon said in the beginning of this call, I have tested more than 6,000 supplements in my career. And I have decades of experience with caring for the health of human beings. And I can tell you unequivocally that of all of the immunomodulators that I have seen in my entire career, I have never seen anything as effective as Manipole. I'll explain immunomodulator to you in a few minutes, but right now I want to sort of keep pace with where we're going. So we have this technology exclusive to us. Even our grower is exclusive to us, and I'll explain that to you in a moment as well. We have more than 50 patents worldwide related to our glycan technology. All of them got their start from Manipole. Now, Manipole is a trade name. Originally, it was patented. It's no longer patented. Patents expire after 20 years. It is still our exclusive, however, because it's made with exclusive technology that only we use. And you will learn in the next few minutes uh, how it is grown in a different way than any other grown anywhere in the world. But first, let's do a few definitions for you. Scientifically, there is one type of mannose from aloe, which can be scientifically called ace mannan. And you should be seeing that on your slide right now. 
Ace Bannon is a scientific definition. This is from the Chemical Abstract Society, and it says Ace Bannon is a mannose that has a molecular weight of between 1 million and 2 million Daltons, or more than 1 million Daltons, probably would be the easiest way to say it. Dalton was a British scientist who first introduced the, eto the atomic theory, so atomic weight is named after him, and we, we simply weigh things in Daltons, is the way it's done. Now, in addition to that, in the United States, you have something called the United States Adopted Names Council, or USAN. They are a division of the American Medical Association. They also define Ace Manin as mannose that has an atomic weight of more than one million Daltons. Anything under a million Daltons does not qualify as Ace Manin. So all of the studies on Ace Manin thus far are all about mannose that has a higher level than one million Daltons. Well, you're about to learn that really limits the number of mannose products out there. In fact, it limits it to one. So our very first product, our very first glyconutrient product was called Manilo. And of course, the man part was because of mana tech, and aloe obviously is, you know, that it's aloe. Okay, <laughs> so so manopole in a capsule, basically with a flow agent, because you can't put a powder into a capsule without a flow agent, and sometimes you need other agents as well when you are encapsulating. You don't need to use those agents when you have a free powder in a tub, but you do in a capsule which is why there can be very little manipole per capsule because you need so much flow agent to make it work. There were only uh, 30 milligrams of uh, manipole per each of these capsules. Yet this is the product that first got my attention all those years ago, 25 years ago. And it had 1.1 million Daltons. So it was scientifically the first Ace Manin product at 1.1 million Daltons. Our grower down in Costa Rica, and as some of you saw, and if you, and if you didn't see it, I would strongly recommend that you do uh, go to Facebook and watch a series of snippets that I made. Um, I did a whole bunch of snippets, maybe, gosh, I didn't count them. There probably was around 12, I guess. What I wanted to do, I was just in Costa Rica. I was just at our farms, at a production facility, at our quality control and quality analysis facility. So I was at all of those uh, places, uh, just got back uh, to Texas from Costa Rica. And so what I tried to do on Facebook was do the Facebook Live thing. And I had asked uh, the senior agricultural engineer, whose English is a little weak, and I speak no Spanish. So we had, a, we had a little bit of communication difficulty, but generally he was focused on what we needed, I think. <laughs> it was, so it, uh, you can go on Facebook Live and there'll be a series of those. My, my goal was to literally start from the very beginning, the growing of the aloe plant. What do we do? I literally started the first snippet at the nursery. And, and, and I'll explain a little bit to you how that worked from the nursery. And then I took the viewer through, and each of these snippets is, is short, and then you have to find the next one and go to the next one and so on, all the way through the processing until you get that final, perfectly pure manipole product uh, actually going into the, uh, the containers and being labeled and, and all that. So uh, hopefully some of you will be able to watch those on Facebook Live. I originally posted it to my personal page, uh, and then I think others shared it and posted it to the North American page, the Manatech official page, perhaps my fan page. I, I'm not even sure, uh, but it, it's all over the place, uh, the, the bunch of the snippets. And I apologize if the quality is poor, but it was raining, 
uh, uh, down there pretty significantly. A few times the rain stopped, which allowed me to go out into the fields and do some of the filming. Uh, we saw a volcano, active volcano in the background and so on. It was pretty interesting. I did not film the crocodiles. We had lots and lots of crocodiles uh, who were just having fun in the rain. Uh, so it was a pretty interesting experience. So I invite you to go to Facebook Live and, and take a look at those snippets. Some of them, I apologize, may not be in order because when we would be in a place where there was no internet connection, we simply recorded it. And I had asked uh, Diego, the agriculture en engineer, to upload them in a particular fashion, but I'm not sure if he understood me, so I'm not sure if it actually worked in that order. But anyway, they're there. All right, so back on to our slide presentation here. Our grower has been growing aloe exclusively for more than 20 years. And one of the things that they have been doing is they have been crossbreeding aloe plants for these more than 20 years. And they have created this amazing sort of super aloe. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about how that's done with DNA and so on, but I, I don't want to miss the opportunity to tell you about the aloe pectin. If you are to look up pectin on the internet, don't do it right now, but if you do it later, you look up pectin and you'll see the studies, and I'm not talking about commercial websites, I'm talking about scientific studies, and the scientific studies will always tell you how pectin helps to detoxify the body, how pectin uh, helps to attract chemicals from the body, which is great for all of us who live on planet Earth right now, and how the heavier the weight of the pectin, the heavier the atomic weight, the more effective it is. Well, the heaviest atomic weight pectin of any product on planet Earth is, guess what? It's in Manipole. So you'll not only have some of the benefits I'll be talking about for your immune system here in the next few minutes, but you also have this astounding detoxification benefit, remembering the heavier that pectin is, the more effective it is for detoxification in your body. Well, what our grower does, they're called Natural Aloe Costa Rica, and they are well-named because they do everything naturally. They're quite amazing. Uh, there are no fossil fuels being used anywhere in their facility. They need a lot of power to run that place, and there's no fossil fuels being used at all. We're talking about uh, wind power and solar power. That is their source of energy. And, and, they, they do, and on top of that, you talk about being responsible about the environment. I'm so impressed by these folks. They have 8,000 acres of trees, of jungle, that they deliberately have set aside to balance against anything that might be generated from their facility. So even the trucks, because the trucks are obviously have to use uh, fuel to get them from the aloe fields back to the facility. 8,000 acres, because that's producing oxygen, and that helps to balance against anything else. These people really care about the environment, and they really care about nature and quality. It is so impressive, really, truly, truly impressive. So they started this special breeding program more than 20 years ago. They use DNA analysis. They actually do DNA tests on the aloe plants. And they have classified aloe plants as P1, P2, P3, and that simply means plant type 1, plant type 2, plant type 3. They only use the P1 plants for planting. Those are the plants that have the highest, most potent mannose by weight in the leaf. These are like super aloe plants. They're, they're superhero <laughs> plants. I don't know how else to explain them. But this is done through DNA analysis. Now, I started yesterday when I was doing the Facebook Lives actually at the nurse. By the way, they're so concerned about making sure everything is clean and safe. You have to disinfect your boots before you can even walk onto the farm. You have to step into a, a bath of disinfectant because they don't want anything being brought in from the outside world, even onto the farm. 
the wheels of the vehicles have to be disinfected before you're even allowed to drive in that area. It's, it's quite amazing, really quite astounding. And so that kind of care, really from start to finish, it's, it's totally amazing. So we have the highest polysaccharide content of any mannose from aloe on planet Earth. Ours is the highest because of the processing that I'm talking about today and because of the growing methods. We have the only, our manipole is the only mannose from aloe, which is third-party tested and has clinical trials for both safety and efficacy. We're the only one on the planet. I don't care what anyone else says to you. If they claim they have it, then you have to say, show me. I want to see the evidence. So our product, Manipol, is true ace manin. It is standardized. It is stabilized. It is so incredibly pure. I wish I could have taken all of you with me yesterday to watch every step of this and to really understand the amazing science and quality that goes into this. They use no pesticides at all, and there are no insects anywhere near these plants. They make a special, it's beautiful science that they do this right, on the, right at their facility. They use two types of fungi and one type of bacteria, which are harmless to humans, harmless to animals, but they repel different types of insects. One of them is used to repel worms that tend to get into the roots of aloe plants. And the other two repel different types of insects. So it's interesting that you get, if you were to walk near these aloe plants, there is no trace of any insect anywhere, anywhere near the plant. But when you then stand up, you'll find some insects at, at your head level, but nothing near the plants. No insects or worms are killed. It's totally environmentally friendly. It's completely safe. All it does is repel the insects because they don't even want to harm the insects there, which I think is just amazing stuff. I'm so impressed, just totally impressed with what these folks do. And they make this material themselves right on the spot. Some a certain type is meant to be put through the irrigation hoses to be sprayed on the plants. And there are irrig irrigation hoses that are literally touching every plant. The first farm I went to had in excess of 400,000 aloe plants. The second one that I filmed in yesterday had more than a million aloe plants. If you can imagine this, like, wow, just an amazing, amazing facility there. So we know that what we call Manipole, or true ace manin, we know it supports cellular communication. We know that it is linked to improved immune response, which is kind of the purpose of this call uh, as you're thinking about, quote, flu season, unquote. Uh, but I want you to know that it's, it's, it's much more than that. We'll come back to the immune idea in a moment. But it's much more than that because we know that Manipole can help you to absorb things like vitamin C. Is that important at this time of the year? Yes, indeed. In fact, it's important at every time of the year, but it's definitely important during this time of the year. So it definitely helps you to improve the absorption of vitamin C and vitamin E through your gastrointestinal tract. So another huge advantage of Manipole. Uh, as I mentioned already, our grower uses no fossil fuels of any kind in the production facility or for powering any of uh, their machines other than their trucks, of course. The trucks are, are uh, running on uh, ordinary fuel. Nobody's, no one has solved that problem yet down there. But considering everything else they're doing, it's, it's pretty astounding. And they will load a single truck, so it's not like there are convoys of trucks. They load one single truck and trailer, uh, usually from the growing one time or twice during the course of their day. They begin their, uh, their harvesting of the leaves at 5.30 a.m., so they want to start harvesting before sunrise. Sun exposure can uh, reduce some degree of effectiveness in the plant, not much, but a little bit. 
and they don't want that to happen. They also don't want their workers to be suffering in the extreme heat uh, in the afternoon. Uh, it was so hot for me. I started uh, down there with the filming at 9 a.m. By noon, my sweat was sweating. It was so it was so hot and uncomfortable. It is a jungle after all uh, down there that they have have uh, cleared out. So our manipole is, without question, the most abundant natural source of acetylated manins or ace manin in the world. And I'm going to give you a piece of really exciting news that just happened yesterday. I'm very excited. So let me give you the, the preview to it here first before I give you that piece of news. So true ace manin has between 1 and 2 million Dalton's atomic weight. Manos from aloe, everybody else's aloe, everybody else's aloe, is somewhere between 380,000 and 400,000 Dalton's atomic weight, and therefore is not true ace manin. Not. And I know we have one uh, new competitor who's decided they're just going to redefine it. Well, they don't care what the scientific societies say. They've decided that their stuff, which is 400,000 Daltons, is ace manin just because they say so. Well, folks, it doesn't work like that. You, you can't just change things because it's commercially convenient for you. Science is science. You have to, uh, you have to stick with some uh, level of rule with this. All right. So true ace manin also has a different atomic structure. Not just, not just the atomic weight, but the atomic formula, the atomic structure are different. Now, you may not remember what you're looking at right now, but I want you to see the news here. As of yesterday, we are now getting consistent yields. You may remember before, even a month ago, I told you on a call that our manipole was coming in at 1.6 million Daltons, which is more than four times more than ordinary manas from aloe. And as of yesterday, and I tr we tried to film this, you could kind of see it on the video. I think you could see it okay. 2,232,000 Dalton's atomic weight. Because they keep crossbreeding these uh, aloe plants, they keep getting better and better, stronger plants, they keep improving their processing, and we are now at 2.2 two million Dalton's atomic weight and ordinary manos, ordinary manos, less than 400,000 Daltons. Think about it, folks. This is astounding stuff. The quality just keeps getting better and better and better. And now what you're looking at here is the formula, uh, the way you would write out true ace manin chemically and the way you would write out ordinary manos from aloe chemically. Now you can see they're different. So for these other companies who say to you, oh, they're all the same, it's all the same. It's not the same. Science shows you it's not the same. Structure equals function, folks. All scientists know this. And how did this come about? Well, we had, uh, after we had started business in Spain, apparently pharmacists in Spain are allowed to prescribe and sell dietary supplements. And apparently they sell D-Manos in pharmacies in Spain. Well, the pharmacists, not being experts in nutrition, they are trained in pharmaceuticals, that's why they're pharmacists. Uh, and uh, they thought that all Manos from aloe was the same. So they were telling people, oh, our D-Manos, that is just dirt cheap, uh, is the same as your Manipole product. And our Spanish associates, of course, we're getting pretty upset about that. And they, they immediately contacted me. Oh my God, what do we do? What do we say? Is this true? So I wrote a very complicated, detailed document for the pharmacist, giving them the science, showing them the difference between true ace manin, manipole, and us from aloe. The difference is huge. Once they understood it, they stopped saying it was the same thing because they understood it clearly was not the same thing. Now, a lot of people will say, well, it costs so much money. It's so expensive. Yeah, it is. It is expensive, folks. 
And part of what I was trying to show yesterday on those Facebook live posts was to show you the processes. And, and if you could begin to imagine the expenses involved in doing this. In fact, it takes 660 kilos of aloe leaf to make one kilo of manipole. Think about that. Originally, just show how we we're improving, it used to take 1,100 kgs. So we're getting better and better between the farming and the manufacturing process. Uh, but, uh, and just uh, when I was out in the field yesterday, they were harvesting 35,000 pounds, and they, they're, they're measuring in pounds when they do the leaves. And after they have made the finished product, they measure it in kgs, grams, and milligrams, obviously, for the finished product. So that's the way it's written on your slide. So they collected 35,000 pounds, and they only cut the adult leaves on the outside of the plant. So the leaf has to have, has reached a certain length, which would indicate its age. And they only harvest the adult uh, leaves on the very outside. So the plant continues to grow literally forever. And then the, uh, the newer leaves are growing in the center, and it continues to grow outwards, if you will. Uh, so that they're not harvesting the whole plant, just the outer leaves. And so yesterday while we were out there, 35,000 pounds of these leaves were harvested. This is by hand. This is cutting by hand. There are no machines here. And that uh, produced 27 kgs or around 60 pounds of manipole. Uh, so you can get an idea of just one of the many reasons why the product is so expensive. And uh, that's a, a really big part of that. So our technology, our exclusive Manipole technology is what really began, it was what really changed the whole market for aloe products worldwide because there had never been anything like this before. And I've already talked about the definitions that we've gone through, so I won't do those again. And more than 50 international patents, as I mentioned, and we'll have more, by the way. More patents are pending, so th there will be more that all relate to our glycan technology. Our competitors have zero patents, and they have zero science to show what their products do. But we spent a ton of money at Manatech, uh, and not only on our state-of-the-art analytical research lab, but uh, also on scientific studies and other things that we've done. So I want you to be focused on three words. When you think about Manatech, think about glycan technology or glyconutrient technology for sure. We are the glycan company, the glyconutrient company. We definitely are. We are it. But I want you to think about these three important words when you think about, so that when the word Manatech, it's like a word association test when you go to see your psychologist, okay? Somebody says Manatech, and you think science, safety, efficacy. Those three words are what I want you to think about in association with Manatech all the time. Because that's who we are. That's what we do. And we are always safe and effective. Always. And we keep proving that out. You know, we now have 19 studies when I spoke with you last, we had 17 studies, we had 19 studies, and of those 19 studies, two are laboratory studies, 17 are human studies. And what do our competitors have? Well, let me think. They have, I guess, uh, 19 fewer than we do. <laughs> so I think that says a lot. Of course, I'm biased. I, I'm a scientist, so I'm, I'm very keyed into studies. And we are the only company on this planet that can say that we initiated a new field of science, a brand new field of science, the study of nutritional glycobiology. That was pioneered by Manatech scientists and Manatech science. And nutritional glycobiology is now being taught in many colleges in the U.S. We are looking forward to the time when it will be taught in colleges all over the planet but it's a good start. It's a good, good start. 
So with that in mind, I'm going to stop the slide presentation. I'm going to keep talking because I've got other things to say to you, but I have no more slides. So I'm going to uh, make you the host again. I think, I hope I did that, Sharon. I hope I made you the host. I'm not sure if I did or not. <laughs> Excellent, Steve. <laughs> okay. But I've, I have more uh, to talk about because we've got to talk about Manaboom. Excellent. Excellent. I'll just go off camera still, but I'm right here. All right. So Manaboom, uh, as I, I, I spoke with Sharon a few days ago, and, and I told her that I thought it was maybe logical for us to talk about Manapol before we talked about Manaboom, because Manapol essentially is Mana, uh, I should say Manaboom is essentially Manapol with a couple of excellent things added to it. So Manaboom starts with Manapol, your most important thing. And what does Manapol do for your immune system? Manapol activates dendritic immune cells to understand ACE manin. ACE manin activates dendritic immune cells. Other manos does not. Be clear on this. So if you want to activate your dendritic immune cells, you need to have ACE manin. I think I've made it pretty clear who's got that right now. So what does it mean to activate a dendritic immune cell? What the heck is that anyway? All right, lots of people have talked about, and I know Manatech in the past has done a lot of talk about macrophage cells and T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes, natural killer cells, and all of that sounds pretty exciting. But what makes those cells work? Dendritic immune cells is what makes them work. You see, a dendritic immune cell has to actually tell a natural killer cell what and when to kill. It has to tell a lymphocyte how to work and what to go after. It has to tell a macrophage what to eat. So if you don't activate your dendritic immune cells, don't expect your immune system to function at full capacity for whatever your challenge is, regardless of the season. So that's why Manipol is such an important component of mana boom. Now, what else have we done with mana boom? Well, we know that particularly with various types of viruses, you want to have a lot more, a lot more vitamin C. So we have added vitamin C from the Australian bush plum as well as acerola cherry. So you've got this extra vitamin C because we know that vitamin C increases the production of immune cells. So now you've got two key components here. You have manopole that can activate those dendritic immune cells to direct your immune cells like your lymphocytes and, and your macrophage and so on. Tell them what to do, how to do it, and who to do it against. And then you've got the extra vitamin C to raise production of immune cells. What an amazing combination you've got here if you're in that season. So with this in mind, these are two great things to put together. Now, we've, in addition, we've added wakami, also known as undaria. Undaria is the botanical name. Wakami is the common name. It's a type of seaweed, which is harvested in the Tasman Sea, by the way. And there is one scientific facility in the world that refines uh, or processes the wakami from its raw seaweed form into a concentrated functional form. You can do this process a maximum of three times. And each time you do it, you are concentrating higher levels of what are known as fucoidins and less of the other material which is not functional for immune support. By the time you've done it three times, you now have the most concentrated form of these fucoidins in any product anywhere. Only one company on planet Earth, just one, pays to do this three times, and that's Manatech. And we put that in our Manaboom. 
this is the right time of the year for you to be stocking up on mana boom if you live in Australasia, that's for sure. And you have these important things that it does. Now, in addition to that, some folks will say, well, what, what is this gum, gum acacia? What is that? Plant gums are a great source of glyconutrients or glycans. And we've added the gum acacia so that we can give you galactose and arabinose and glucuronic acid and rhamnose. These are all very important glycans to support immune function. Very important. So you have a, a, almost kind of like a, a mini Ambertose going on here. Now, those, those aren't all the glycans that are in Ambertose. But between the manipole, the vitamin C from two different sources, the acerola cherry and uh, the Australian bush plum, which, yes, the Australian bush plum does have the highest level of vitamin C by gram weight. Source of vitamin C. So we do this plus the wakami, and this is flavored or sweetened, if you will, by using some citric acid. We always use citric acid for flavoring because that'll give you some of your fruit flavoring. It gives it sort of a uh, tart, kind of a tart taste if you haven't tasted it yet. And then the sweetening part of it, we are using erythritol, maltodextrin in a very, very small level, just enough for the the sweetness and of course my favorite sweetener which is xylitol that's xylose that is by the way one of the uh, glycans found in ambertose i love xylose it's the only sweetener i use in my life anywhere is xylitol and, uh, and xylitol has so many benefits i could do a whole thing on xylitol anyway so you have a, a pretty pleasant flavor with mana boom and you get a a boom. I mean, you get a really powerful immune support with this product. But it's, it gives you that because of Manipole, which is why we had to spend so much time on Manipole uh, this morning. So this is important stuff for you, this combination. Now, I would personally love to see everyone taking uh, a scoop of Manipole every day for their health. I know it's not practical for everyone. I'm just saying that's what I'd love to see you do. Uh, but Manaboom, wow, you can do that. It's convenient. It's tasty. It's powerful. It's effective. It's a way for you to get Manipole into your system. Uh, and it's uh, especially at certain times of the year, that can be a huge benefit for you. Most of us at Manatech Corporate, we travel with Manaboom as well because you never know when you're going to need a little bit. Yesterday, a part of our uh, visiting team to the farms uh, was uh, Joel Bickman, and uh, there had been some folks around us who were uh, less than healthy, uh, and Joel said, I'm feeling a little tickle in my throat. Maybe I should uh, slug down a couple of mana booms, which he did. Uh, he's, uh, he's feeling good today. But anyway, uh, just, uh, just some thoughts for you on this, but mana boom, it's a great product to help you with your immune support, especially at certain times of the year. And the, by the way, the calcium in there is used as, a, uh, as an agent to help separate, to maintain consistency of, of the powder, I guess would be the best way to say it for you. Okay, so it's not, that calcium is not meant to be a calcium supplement, not at that level anyway. 